Okay, so here's your Medina steam machine. Um, model numbers over here on the side. MLH252S7AWW. Looks very similar to some of the other Whirlpool Kenmore LG designs. This one here, you can see it's got a little bit of spring action. This is normal, the spring action. If it's got slop up and down, then you got a bad bearing. This one was still under warranty, but they wanted to charge the customer $100 for him to come out and look at it anyway. And somehow or another, they diagnosed a bad pump. So this is your water pump right here. And basically, it unscrews from here. You stick a pan underneath there, catch the water if you get water in there. What normally happens is, on these water pumps inside here, if you stick your finger in here, you can feel the impeller. If the impeller feels like it's loose on the motor shaft, then you need to replace it. So this one we're going to take out and take a look at it. So, might be able to tip it on its back or take the back panel off. Uh, some of the whirlpools, you can tip it on its uh, back and get underneath here. Uh, let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, so this one we got tipped. We can take a look. Might be able to see it. Basically, this hose got to come off. That drain hose has got to come off. It's like some screws under here. Screws in the front. Two screws there. Two screws. Okay, let's take this front cover off. Hello. Uh, if you take this front cover off, it pops off. You can look inside there and then you can see the pump. And there's these two screws down here. And there's two screws on the bottom back here. Um, that hold this thing in. These two Phillips. Kind of like this. Right here on the back. And if we look at this thing, you can see there's a bunch of crap inside there back by the impeller. It's probably fucked up the impeller. Excuse my French. And, uh, yeah. So that gunk has got past the filter. So here's a, here's a tip for you, Medina. Build a little, a little bit better filter. And there's your pump. We're going to take it apart and we're going to look at the impeller. Okay, so we got it apart. You always want to mark it so that you know which way this thing goes on because there's a couple of different variations. You want to like take a felt pen and mark it. Now this is the stuff that got past the filter. Just these knots of this hair. These are pretty tight knots, I'll tell you. I don't know how you can get make a filter that doesn't let hair behind it, but... And this pump is still good, actually. So the pump is actually has withheld it has withheld this I mean this is a pretty tight bundle of hair it's with, withheld basically that was kind of like stuck right in that port right there so and it's still you can see if if you go like this and you don't feel that magnet then the impellers become disconnected from the motor shaft this one's still good so and this is part number what B43A01. I would imagine I was going to interchange this with a Kenmore Whirlpool one, but uh, I, d I don't need to. I just need to clean it out and we're good to go. I might check this sump here to make sure there's nothing inside of it. But it looks pretty similar to the Whirlpool Kenmore's. A little bit different. Tell there, it's not the exact same design as plastic. Looks a little bit cheaper than the old school Whirlpools, but. Uh, yeah, the plastic looks a little bit cheaper, but I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I just fix things. And so this is the Fix It guy signing out. Thanks for watching. And just to let you know, I teach you a course on how to repair appliances. And it's a two-year course. I take two students per year. And if you're interested in that course, you can contact me. Thanks for watching.